to this video so here i'm going to be teaching you how to create a mailchimp form how to create a form on mailchimp so the first thing that you do of course is to go to mailchimp.com okay and you go to mailchimp.com you click on so i'll go to audiences when you log in it's going to bring you in a place that looks like this so the next thing to so this is um a mailing list of mine so this is um, an, an a mailchimp account of mine so when you come to here go to audience and then here you click on go here and click on sign up forms so mailchimp only allows you to have one account one audience for your free account if you have a free account you can only create one audience so audiences are basically ways for you to categorize people based on different interests or purposes or campaigns or purposes sorry uh, that you are running okay so the next thing is you click on form builder okay here on form builder you go down and here you are seeing you see a sample of your form and then you can see how you can edit and all that so i'm going to just um work on a form right now so this is a form of mine um how did i create this form I cannot use this account. No, 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 no. So I basically switched accounts here. Uh, I switched my account here because I, I didn't want to edit that other one. So here, what I'm going to do is just to edit this account. I did this, this um, form already here. So the first thing that naturally, you, the, what you see here are different things that you can put to your form, different options. So you have here first name. So if I want to put my first name, put a place for first name, I'll just click on this and drag it. Okay. No, not drag. Sorry. You just click on it. So I assume I want to recreate this first name now. I'll just go there. See? Okay. I, th I think I clicked it twice. So what I'll just do is to give this one a name and call it, click here and say underfield label, say first name. So, uh, and just click on save field. You can click require, tick this box required. If it's mandatory that they will fill that form, you tick on tick required. So I'll just, if you want to delete this, you click on it. This pops out, you click here. And then type in delete and delete it so the next thing is your email address and that follows the same system also with the first name I'll still click on you click here so I think let me delete this first name so I'll, I'll show you how I did that let me just delete this one okay then then i want to add if you want to add number you can use this i'll just click on this i'm always making that mistake it's not drag it's just click on it you know most other platforms are you drag so i'll just see number here that's if you want to add phone number now i'll go to field label and type in phone number okay here it is then if I want it to be, of course, required, I tick here and I say save field. Okay, so I have my phone number there. I don't want this. I always make the mistake of clicking it twice. So I'll just delete this one. Okay, so I have first name, email address and phone number. Okay, the same way I added this one and this uh, for email address, you use... Um, you use of course email address usually you find it here and it's compiled so you find it and mind you you can drag this thing you can drag this up and drag this down okay 
so you usually i put the email address as a second option after first name so if you want to add an image here okay usually i think there will be test here so what i would do if, if you hover your your mouse here you see add image or use image then i'll just click change so if i click change um it's going to bring me up here i will go to upload okay so you find go to your picture and find wherever the image that you want to use there the image header you want to use and make sure that the image header is landscape okay it's preferably landscape so that it doesn't look it doesn't take a whole lot of space on your form page okay so once you get the image that you want okay let me use this one let me just change it and use this okay all right it's up now so i just click on this click insert whatever image you want to put there okay then i'll click on insert save and insert image so it's going to change now all right that will be our new header so another thing that you want to do usually i do two more things or two or three more things so i want to change this from subscribe subscribe to maybe save your seat so i'll go to translate it click on translate it go down and go to here you see here it says subscribe so i just save changes to save my seat okay and then i'll click on save so what i'm doing now is to customize this form to my taste to suit my brand or your brand okay the next thing that you do is to go back to build it so there are various other things that you can want you may want to change here um english uh, all the other things but usually that's the only thing i change here and then i go to then the next thing i want to do of course is maybe to change the color of this background maybe use my brand color and all those things so if you notice here it has changed to save my seat then i also want to change this color of this button so i'll go up here and go to design it go to background just go here and select the color that i want for my background so i'm just going to choose any color you can play around that if you want to so i'll just click on any color okay notice the color has changed then i want to change the button color to tick red so i will go to forms and then go to button sorry on button so i'll click on button background i'll choose a dark red here and then text color the button text color i'll leave it at white so it's already on white so i'll just leave it there so if you notice it has changed then the hover hover is when you place your mouse on you see the color has changed so i want to use the same color i used okay so i'll, I'll copy this color code and then go to buttons hovered and paste it there okay so it's not changing to that ash color and that brown not be ash color anymore okay so now the next thing that you want to do is to go to you want to i want to set in redirects what happens maybe i want to take people to a page immediately after they fill this form and take them to a thank you page or some other page that i want to take them to so i'll go here and go to confirmation thank you so here is where you put the link of where you want to take them to after they have filled that form so um it, maybe it could be a thank you page on your website it could be anything just copy that link and paste it here so immediately they fill this form they'll be taken to this page it could be a download link maybe to download an ebook so immediately they fill that form they automatically um, are taken to this download page of that book or the book automatically begins to download so maybe you uploaded it on google drive if it's your webinar platform they can easily ju just be redirected into your webinar platform okay so what else then the final email they get so once, once they subscribe what's the email that they get so i click here and then go to final welcome email okay so on the final welcome email is where i write the email they will get so i click on edit i write the email here that they will get after they have subscribed to this list okay so you write the email that you want them to get maybe, maybe thank you email welcome email or an email giving them the lead magnet or the product or whatever it is that you're offering them okay then once you finish you save and close 
and then the last thing of course is the link to your i'll close this so the last thing of course is to get the link to this form okay so i'll go to build it click back on build it then if you go up you will see the link right about any moment from now so if you go to build it and click on subscribe so sign up form go to this drop down and click on sign up form so that's the link so this is the link to your form this is the link that you give everybody to subscribe so remember if you're hosting a webinar with this once they come here you give them this link this is the form that they will see and once they fill this form so i'll just paste this here paste that link here and then we'll see how it comes out okay so this is the link it's going to come out very soon so the next thing once they fill this form they will go to they'll be redirected to that page that you put here immediately they fill the form okay this page that you put here and then they will automatically also get this email the final welcome so when you are putting your final welcome email make sure that this box is ticked otherwise the email will not send so here is our form all right so hope this makes sense for you and it's useful have a great day